Hello there, Ryan, once again, again, for the final time, God willing, coming from my living room, and I trust and hope to return back to my office next week. And what a time it's been, but in it all, in it all, I know that God is good, and he is sovereign, he is faithful, and he is just, and he is right, and uh, all things work together for good to them that love God, and are called according to his purpose. Today, as you will know if you are listening, it is Saturday. And I pray and I trust and I hope that you are having a blessed time and in your heart today you are preparing yourself for the Lord's Day tomorrow. And may God bless you in it and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you as we often quote and sing and rejoice in that may it be a reality in our minds, in our hearts, in our families' lives and in our marriages and in our relationships. May God be honoured and may God be praised to the glory and honour of his name. Today I go on to number six under the heading of let us behave ourselves as the children of such a father. Section six and again just to remind anyone who may be watching this for the first time is from a book by Thomas Watson the Puritan the Lord's Prayer. So today number six if God be our father again we pause. Is God your father? Do you belong to him? Have you been given that new heart? Is your life been changed? Is your mind been renewed? Have you gone through and are going through a repentance? And do you look to him and only him, the Christ, the Redeemer, the one that was slain before the foundation of the world? Is he your saviour and is the father yours? Let us ask ourselves that today. If God be our father, let us show by our cheerful looks, that we are the children of such a father. Too much drooping and despondency disparages the relation in which we stand to him. What thought we meet with this hard usage in the world. Often aren't we, we found in drooping and a little bit like those Israelites that came out of Egypt moaning, moaning and murmuring. But may we be saints may we be a people of joy may we be people of of contentment hope may we be found in that frame we are now in a strange land thomas watson says far from home he's no doubt thinking of that which paul said in philippians we belong to another world it will be shortly better with us when we are in our own country we are foreigners, we are aliens in another land. Though we walk this land, though we are pilgrims, this is our journey. And as I was reading yesterday from a book uh, by J.I. Packer regarding the Puritans, that this, is, this, this land that we live in is a, is a time of sanctifying, time of sanctification, preparing for that place to which we belong. We are in a strange land, far from home. It will be better shortly with us when we are in our own country and our Father has us in his arms. Does not the air rejoice in his hope? I pause with great purpose. Are you today rejoicing in that hope? The inheritance that you have. Do you rejoice in that? Do you long for that? Do you hope for that as a child of God? The answer will be yes and amen. Shall the sons of a king walk dejected? What art thou, being the king's son, lean, coming again from 2 Samuel 13, 4? Is God an unkind father? I want you today to ask yourself that, particularly in the time that we're in. Is God an unkind father? We know the answer is an emphatic no, a certain no. But at times the child can get despondent. The, the child can feel low. But I want to encourage you today from these words. The, the answer to that question. God an unfine father. Are his commandments grievous? Of course the answer is no. Has he no land to give his heirs? Oh he has plenty. And plenty my brethren is promised. Why then do his children walk so sad? Why are we found in melancholy? Why are we found in dejection? 
Oh, there is time to mourn. There is time to, to go through melancholy. Of course, when we sin and we offend our Father. But all oh, that we ought to refrain from living outside of joy. What great challenge this is this afternoon. Let me continue on. Why then walk so sad? Never had children such privileges as they are the seed, the royal seed of heaven. And having God for their father. They should rejoice who are within hours of being crowned with glory. What a wonderful piece of writing. Not because of the language. Not because it was written with some poetic emphasis but because of its truths that you and I today those of you who are a child of God may we walk in a way may our conduct may our joy may our hope may it shine because we belong to a father and one day he will crown us what a wonderful thought and today may it be a encouragement and a challenge that we may not walk around as if we have no hope we may not walk around as we, we don't belong. But we belong to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And may we and our lives, our conduct, show that in our day-to-day -day way, in our day-to-day -day walk with him. In the name of Jesus. Amen.